Well, hello. Welcome to Production Line. This is an interesting game. You make cars in it, and you start off with some, you know, pretty basic car building devices, I guess, um, manufacturing equipment. And as the game progresses, as your technology gets better, you can expand upon this and not only make your assembly process faster, but also add all sorts of features to your automobiles that you can offer and sell to the consumer. So at the very beginning of this, you start rather, um, well, you're ill-equipped to really deal with the overall process. You just kind of have to hope that you can sell a decent amount of these things in the early stages and get enough technology and research going that you can basically put together enough of an output and, and, and respond to the new technologies that you develop, if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and build the very simple setup uh, that we need to begin with, which is going to be this export. Wow, that was loud. And, uh, oh, that's not working at all. Um, I'm going to get rid of those. That's what I do. I, it just wasn't lined up. All right. Um, I'm building this backwards. Um, I'm, it, you know, it goes out here. And the next thing we're going to do is a quality check. Again, this is backwards. I'm just checking out to see how long these different processes take. And the next thing is fit electronics. So this takes five minutes. That's what's happening. I'm going to build two lines. So one of these should be fine. And that's all I was looking at. So we're going to go ahead. This is the fit electronics. We're not going to do very much um, with some of these. That's a 14 minute. That's a 22 minute. So we're going to need about. Yeah. Okay. So this is. Not exactly the, I hate to use the word efficient, because it actually kind of is. Um, it's the best use of space right now for what we need to do with this. That didn't need to happen. I hit the, clicked on the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> Alrighty, my brain is not functioning already. Hold on. We needed fit electronics. Yeah, I did that wrong. I did that so wrong, it's not even funny. We're just going to go ahead and... Great. Kill that, kill that too. Because what I wanted to do, and I screwed it up pretty horrifically, is I wanted to have two of these. And I keep grabbing the wrong one. That's my problem. All right, fit engine is right before that. We're going to need two of those. Paint, we're going to need two of those. That takes a lot longer to paint. That's our constraint in this whole line. But again, we're not really doing this to... Uh, I could have probably put these all closer together, too. Uh, we're not really doing this to... be efficient or be in any way, um, you know, really timed, you know, make, I don't want to make this as perfect as possible because there's no point in making it as perfect as possible there. That, that's what I'm trying to say. This is just a very short term. Um, this is just a very short term setup for this factory because what we need to do next, at, now that we've got all that built, is, well, actually, what we need to do next is bring in resources so we can actually build these cars. So we need to have a conveyor belt then that runs and connects all of these green things. And that will. That will set them up with uh, with all of the you know incoming parts that they need to you know actually run through the processes and build the car. 
All right, so everything should be aligned as far, or everything should have everything it needs to actually run. Something says so something's wrong here. Let's see what it says. Wrong conveyor direction. I did something wrong. So let me go ahead and, yep, I screwed that up. We're just going to go ahead and, and then probably faster to do that another way, but there we go. Fortunately, it tells you when you've really made a mistake like that. So we're good from the overall standpoint of things. What we need to do next is build some uh, facilities out here, which is the res or what we need to build is the research. And we need to build plenty. And then we need to research. Now, what we really, really want to research is the stuff we can't research yet. We have to have sell 10 cars, hence the simple factory. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered building it. But we need to research these things eventually. In the meantime, there are things we can do. And a lot of this stuff is not really a good idea to do it first, even though it's available. It sounds good. More robots. Ooh, we'll get through it faster. It doesn't matter at this point in time. That's not where it's going to be helpful. So we're going to go ahead down to administration. We're going to get that. That's going to allow us to do like research research centers. That's an awful lot to research, but it's going to open up the door to a few things, and we need that more than we need anything else right now. So we're going to go ahead and choose that and research now. Now the other manufacturers are going to research some of these technologies and that's all cute and everything but you have to have all these processes working to implement most of this stuff anyways. So it's pointless um, the, the approach to do it that way at least in my opinion. So this one chassis assembly is going to feed both of these lines and then it's going to end up in the single fit electronics, the single quality check and the single out the door. And that is going to be our process. We're going to raise the price of this quite a bit. Whoops. Wow, we're actually making a lot of money if I do that. That can't be right. We're going to do that. We're just going to do that and see what happens. And we're going to put it on high speed. And there we go. Waiting for resources. You can see the conveyors are coming in and delivering things. Not necessarily in the best of orders. But uh, there we go. The cars are the sand are the beginning. It takes a long time as they do all of this process together. But again, this is on high speed. Again, this can put out two for about every one of these things, and so that's why I have it set up that way. It could probably put out two and a half, maybe. Yeah. So it's going to back up after a little bit, but that's just how it is. Again, the, the, the whole purpose of this is we need to get cars through this process and sold. And it's not real exciting at the beginning of the game because, again, each one of these processes takes a lot of time. And, you know, the first one's now just getting its engine. So we have the assembly line going, but we can improve very much on the assembly line as we research things and as we're allowed to research things that we need. So we're going through this and our first car is, you know, very much on the way. Uh, it has a couple, you know, a few more steps in the process before it sees the showroom. Inspection. And out the door to the showroom and it showed up there and sold already so we're going to go ahead and raise the price a little bit it says we're losing money now I think this is a little bit nonsense but we're going to go ahead and do that and see what happens if they keep selling we're going to keep them at that price there's one sitting in the showroom if it disappears anytime soon, we'll know we're good. Now we have two. Well, what's the chief operating officer say? Eh, whatever. We, we're not there yet. 
So the price is probably a little higher. We wouldn't have two of them sitting in there. So let's bring it down a couple of notches. It says we're losing money. That's just because we don't have anything there. We already sold one. It's just because we haven't really gotten a whole lot through this assembly line yet. So yeah, we're losing money, but that's because we bought all of these parts and we're spending all this money on this uh, on our employees and so forth like that. But we haven't really, you know, gotten anything out. We haven't gotten that much out the door yet. Okay, let's use the next research project. Um, we are still unable to do what we really want to do. I do think one of the things we can do that's going to be useful is this uh, specialization. That way we can, again, it makes everything faster. We can have three, basically, like where it checks at the very end on the car. We have three things now that can, it, it'll make more sense, but there'll be three different stations that are doing these steps and it'll make it more efficient. We don't really need that so much as we need these other things, but we do need that ultimately, so I'm just going to go with it right now. So here we go. We're still on high speed. We've got three cars in the showroom. If we get to four, I'm going to go ahead and drop the price just again, but I'm hoping that we don't. Yeah, we didn't that time at least. We're back to three. Yeah, we're to four. Oh, we're back to three. Good. Down to two. Sweet. So, I just want to make sure that we're ultimately making money in this process. And right now, it doesn't exactly look like we are, but we now have four in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop that price just a tad. Let's see if that brings more people in. There's a sweet spot in here somewhere. There we go. We're obviously, you know, going upward. So that is all I wanted to have happen right now. This is making us money despite all of this research that we're investing in. So that's good. In the meantime, this is building. We're probably close to having... Having sold, oh, we did, we did. So the next thing we're gonna do is add all of these to the queue. Now the other manufacturers are going to be researching all of the specializations they can add to the car. But you need all of this to do that. So it's kind of pointless to do anything but this, the way that we're doing it. So we're just going to go ahead and let that go fast forward for a while. And we're just going to be making uh, cars this way for a little bit. And again, is it the perfect setup? Could we use another one of these maybe? Maybe, but then we need another one of these and, you know, so forth. So, yes, we could probably, if we really worked hard at it, churn more cars out. But we don't have to work that hard if the research comes through. And the research is going to come through. So again, this isn't the most exciting aspect of this because we're basically waiting for things to happen. So I'm going to go ahead probably and fast forward through some of this until, you know, we start having some of this research come through. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and stay quiet here for the next little bit until we get to a place where it makes sense to go. All right, um, looks like we can now do a little bit more, but we've got some pretty nice options now that we'll explore here in a little bit. But 
this is going to make life so much easier um, when we can separate these down. We can put so much more through the factory. And as our competitors have been researching different things, uh, we can see what we need to actually like start to follow suit on. Um, things like that and driver assistance apparently is something that they've been looking at doing. Convenience is something that they've been looking at. Entertainment they've been looking at. So this way we can kind of catch up to what they've been looking at or they've been investing in. And at the same time, we're going to be able to rebuild the factory now. So we're going to close this out and we're going to go ahead and pause this for a second. This is going to get deleted because I really don't want any more coming out of this particular. And now we begin anew with the new factory. So we've got the ability to do way more things. So we have axles, undercarriage, and fuel tanks. Six minutes, two minutes, four minutes. So let's see what different things take of the different times and we'll be, so fit body frame is a big one. Fit roof is small, All right? So we're going to need more and less of these as it goes through the assembly line. So fit axles is six, that's two, that's four. So I think if we talk about it being every six minutes, we're still going to need several of those. All right. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's just go ahead and we're going to go ahead and make that the very first thing. We do. Fit axles take six. So we're going to need, if we end up needing more, we should be able to sufficiently like add another one and send it down that way. So we should be good. Now we're back to this taking potentially twice as many, but we're just going to put one in for now, and if we need to grow it, we will. Now, this one is going to take, we're going to need like at least three of these. And I'm going to put a little bit of a break between us here, just in case we need it for conveyor belts. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's do that. Roof is four and that's six. So these are gonna come out about every six minutes. We should be good with, for now, I'm going to put two and likewise I think we're good so let's go ahead and do the conveyor belts through these things to make sure we're not all crazy and what I'm going to do here is that's right We have to do something like this. And then that makes it all kind of work together in a... Well, that didn't need to happen. These are all going back down to nothing, so there's really no point in having these come out like this at all anyways. No need to exist. Okay, so that takes us to paint. And this has a three minute, a 12 minute, a four minute. 
so we can get by with one of these. And I hate having this right here right now. Um, we're just going to bend this over and figure something else out. Uh, we're going to have to dry the undercoat, which takes 12. So we need at least two of these. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's just do this, get it going, and then should be the one that's on, right? All right, so we're going to do it this way. There we go. So it'll go between those. We're going to go ahead and let this start up. I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, get the resource stuff going. Fine. We actually, yeah, we have another one there that we can use. And we're going to go ahead and use two of those because we're going to be dumping in a lot of things. We may have used this one as well. There. Whoops. So we're just going to make sure that everything has every or, you know, it has everything that it needs to do what it does. But we're going to do it anyways, and. So we don't really have this completed, but we're going to start it up along the way, and hopefully as these things filter through, we will, uh, you know, have some of these at least somewhat through the production line. So we're assuming about six minutes a car, and you can see how, like, multiple things now are, like, flooding through. The, those Everything in red used to be one car going, and... Now we've got all this extra, you know, extra happening. It's going to be tragic if, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this just in case. <laughs> Save a little bit of time, maybe, uh, through this. Because if I can... I mean, these have no place to go. Which is too bad, because, again, these are going to build up here. But that's okay. I mean, we're going to get these this taken care of. We can... don't really care. We just need to... We're almost to the point where we can kill this. Eventually, <laughs> I'll have all of this to get rid of as well. It's fine. Come on, let me destroy this so I can build more factory, please. Thank you. I could do this with the uh, demolish, but since this is kind of... Come on. It's kind of funny in a weird way that uh, all those are building up there. I mean, it'll... It's not the end of the world that that's happening. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Kill that. Kill that. No stockpile. I screwed that up, didn't I? 
I wasn't even paying attention to the, it was what what the error message was that it was giving me. We need to get that guy that to get that guy through, and we'll need that. So we'll go ahead and like start to build some more of this thing. Um, we need paint finish. How much does that take? Four minutes. So we'll just go ahead with a couple more of those. Separate it out by two, but I don't really think it matters at this point in time. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, finish. That's what we wanted, but we want it. And we want this one. This one. Right, paint finish, dry finish. That's 14, so we're going to need, what, three of those, I guess. So those shouldn't really need to go through anything. That should just be a straightforward, uh, well, these will. All right, after we have that and the paint finish, we and the dry finish, we will eventually have this little polish thing going on. So I'm going to leave room for it. And I don't know. Hopefully someplace in that mess is enough. And we may even like move on to the next thing, which is what fit engine. So that expanded. Oh, that only takes two minutes. Three minutes, so we're gonna get down to one of these. Yeah, just for giggles, we will do that. Just need one of those. Just need one of those. I should be adding, leaving more space. All right. Okay, that should open that up a little bit and at least get some of these things going through. And we can start then demolishing even more of this. I'm going to go ahead and pause this while we get rid of this because all of this is gone now. So let's just do it the quick and easy way, which is... All right, so let's come back into here. We were fitting things, fitting the exhaust. Wheel assembly is six. That's about what we're going to need. We may need to add another one later. I doubt it. And fit steering is seven. That's, that's weird. That should be orange, right? Um, I don't like the way that is actually working. We're probably going to end up getting rid of that, but we're going to go ahead and turn this this way. It is orange. And turn both of them that way. Then we're going to fit accessories, which has also four things. And that's three, that's three, that's three, and that's four. So we're just going to need one set of these, at least for now. And we'll continue this direction for a little bit. And so we're going to need one of those. And just in case, I don't know exactly what's going to come of this at some point. Um, seats. Windscreen. Uh, 
All right, and then we're gonna go around the corner. The next thing is Fit Electronics, which, huh, I guess we didn't research that. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with that. I could have sworn I did everything. Maybe I just don't have any electronics to throw in. I don't know. Does not appear to be there. So, I guess... It's just not there. Did I? Yeah, I did do that. Fit dashboard. You know what? Before I do anything else, uh, th this is going to come back and bite me if I don't do this. I need to leave space for that fit air conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this down a couple of notches to here. Yeah. Okay, and then... We'll do a fit electronics and I don't I don't understand why those aren't available, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave space, I guess, for that. Only two minutes, it doesn't really matter. This expands now, and these are all under. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep this process going. Excuse me, visual inspection. Visual inspection. And then performance check. I think those are just the only two things that we have to worry about. Oh no, emissions check. How much is that? Another minute 30. So these aren't taking any time at all. And then we're going to do an export down here. So that's... Um, Quite the factory we have. I still have to hook things up to it. I yeah, screwed that up, but let's do it this way. All right. Um, we do have to add resource conveyors to all of these. We haven't done that yet. Darn it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Resource conveyor to you. I can't do it on my own, can I? That would be too easy. We're just going to go straight through here. Right there. Run it there. So everything should that needs to have resources should have resources. Everything's hooked up. We're going to go ahead and crank this up just a little bit and watch it all come into place I hope and that's a lot of cars going a lot faster through this process than we were doing before uh oh we don't we need we can research stuff and I wasn't doing it so the next thing we can do is oh it looks like safety features is one that we missed and then we're just going to come straight down here and start researching the things that the other people have been researching to catch up. We are probably superior to them in the amount of research that we're doing. So we'll be able to catch up to these guys pretty quickly. Didn't need to do sunroof so fast, but oh well. And there we go. So that's a lot, but we'll catch up to them. And as we're catching up to them, we're going to make a lot of money. Doesn't look like it because that's going down, but we don't have any cars coming out right now. So we have to wait until these start making it through the process, but they're clearly doing that just now. And it's going to come through a whole lot faster than we had them before. And here's the first one to the showroom. Second one to the showroom. Third one to the showroom, even though it uh, 
one just got sold, so. We should start making money again, and in fact, we're going to be dumping so many of these into the showroom, we may have to lower the price a little bit, which will be fine. Yeah, they're selling. And I could push more through, but if I push more through, then I'd have to push more through to the, well, as it, as it appears, that may be useful. The only thing is, is this is, shouldn't be really a huge long-term glut because that was created initially when we uh, didn't have enough of these. It's not like... I think I, I forgot what the time frame on on those things. Twelve minutes, so it ultimately should catch up. I think. These guys are just kind of cruising through. Oh, that's idiocy on my part. Let's go ahead and bring you up to here if necessary, and then bring you up to here, and then I don't know what happened, and then bring you down. There we go. I mean, then these guys will eventually catch up to it they're just going to be dumping them into the showroom so you know the money's going up again even after rebuilding the entire factory i guess this is a little slower than i thought it would be Oh, I should start doing this with the upgrade all slots. Um, we've got five there. Let's go ahead and drop the price a smidge. And, you know, this is going along pretty well. I know I fast forwarded to this through a lot of this, you know, setup process, but you can kind of get the general notion of where we're going with this. As this progresses, we're going to be able to upgrade more and more of these slots, and we're going to not only have more cars going through these things, and we'll expand them to the other factories and tear down what we have and rebuild it again, but, you know, we'll get this thing really cranking, and uh, so. But in the meantime, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel, please. And tell your friends, share the videos that you like, and I will see you next time. Be safe.